Zach, there you are. What? We can't find Nick and we can't air the school newscast without him. Do you know where he is? No. Help! Get me out of here! Is that Nick? Of course not. So about this newscast? Well, since Nick isn't here, I signed us up to take over instead. I hate you so much right now. Hello, I'm Zakaton. And I'm Nathan Lay. Welcome to Poke News TV. Because we can. Let's start off with our school's economy. Currently, due to budget cuts, the school is now low on staplers. Okay, students. Staple your papers and pass them to the front. Our table doesn't have a stapler. Catch! Thank you. Also, the school could not buy new projectors, leading to trouble students who can't read our current models. I can't read the projector. Come closer, then. I still can't read it. <sighs> Come closer. I still can't- How about now? On the bright side, the school saved money by purchasing cheaper goggles for science. There's no lens in these. Tough luck. Also, the school has made a zero-tolerance policy on cheating during tests. Dude, your handwriting sucks. Now let's go to Natasha for the weather. Natasha? It's cold outside! Thank you, Natasha. Now for sports. Our sports newscast will be by our PE teacher, Mr. Finkelberg. Thank you, Nathan. Our football team is doing great this year. As well as our baseball team. And lastly, our swim team has recruited new members. What? Now let's move on to clubs. The fencing club will hold their first meeting on Wednesday after school. Of course. Invisible children will meet on Thursday during lunch. Where is everybody? And mock trial will be meeting after school on Monday. Ooh, look at me! I'm a trial! And Speech and Debate Club will meet today after school. Alright, we're gonna have our club same time on Wednesday. No, we should have it on Thursday. Also, if you're a club president, next week we will have our annual club fundraiser. Have some free lemonade. Thanks. The second cup is 10 bucks. Why would I pay 10 bucks for lemonade? Because this one has the antidote. For lunch today, the school is serving mystery meat. Is that moving? I'll call it Steve. Oh my god! Now it's time for school gossip. Travis, a freshman candidate, was banned from the school election for his new campaign slogan. Vote for me, or I'll find you. Also, due to the environment, students are coming up with a new way to get to school that beats carpooling and saving the planet. With this catapult, I can get to school in no time! Ah! Ah! Ah, also, Flu season has erupted in North Polk, spreading across the East Campus. Today, we will read pages 2 to <coughs> 50 in our books, and <coughs> you will write a report about what you've learned. Shut <coughs> up! Uh-oh. Currently, students are rushing to class to beat the bell by sliding down the rails instead of taking the stairs. Also, the school prom is coming up, so you better plan your tickets, tuxes, and dates. And our school cheerleaders have recently received their new outfits to cheer us on at the games. No comment. And due to recent thefts, the school also installed new locks on the lockers. I can't keep reading this. Because it's an invasion of privacy? No, because the handwriting sucks. Uh, 
Well, this is awkward. And speaking of lockers, there is a rumor going around saying that they'll be making them smaller to prevent being shoved into them. What the? Thank you so much. Trevor shoved me in there last Friday. What? How'd you get my locker combo? Well, that's the end of our newscast. Before we go, let's introduce our school mascot, Barry the Bear. <laughs> uh, are you sure it's safe to let him in? Of course it's safe. He's perfectly tame. <laughs> oh my god.